Hey crazy friends, it's Jay with Find Your Crazy. We are a family of nine who live full-time in our RV with five of our kids as we go around the country to see every national park. But today, we're not going to a national park. In fact, we're not going to something that's quiet and serene at all. We're going to something that's loud and a little bit crazy. Today is just me and Scott, Joseph, and Christopher. And today, we are going to a bowl game. Where are you going, baby? baby? So I am flying solo with the three littles today and we are headed to have some fun in Birmingham, Alabama. We are going to the Auburn Bowl game. If you can't tell from um, our dress, uh, we are big Auburn fans. Uh, we are longtime Auburn fans. Uh, in fact, Auburn is something that is near and dear to our heart and our family. Um, Francis and I are both graduates of Auburn. Uh, we met at Auburn, uh, fell in love at Auburn. Uh, and so it's super special to us, uh, but my parents both went to Auburn as well. Uh, and so Auburn has always been a big part of our family. We have been Auburn football fans for as long as I can remember. Uh, in fact, uh, I marched for uh, four years in Auburn's marching band. So I was at all the football games, down the field, playing, a uh, great, great time. Uh, my parents um, were season ticket holders for like almost 30 years, I think, uh, until it just got too much to, for them to travel all the time with it. Uh, and so for years and years and years, we have always gone to Auburn football games, uh, me especially, but even the little kids as well. Uh, even the last couple of years that my parents knew was going to be their last few years, we made sure that we got every kid uh, to one of the big games uh, over those two years. But in all those football games that they have been to, and they've probably been to two or three apiece, uh, they've never been to a bowl game. And so that's what we're doing. We're going to a bowl game over in Birmingham. Um, this is a big deal or a big piece for us, if you will, in um, how we kind of handle, have handled birthday, Christmas, and other gifts since we've been traveling. Uh, before, you know, we would always just kind of do uh, the normal thing, giving gifts, uh, especially at Christmas. Um, on birthdays, a lot of times we would give kids the option to choose between getting a gift or having a big party somewhere. But since we've been traveling, we've really tried to emphasize the gift of giving experiences. Uh, instead of giving them something that they're going to play with for a little while, that they're going to lose, break, outgrow, we're going to give them something where they can make a memory that's going to last forever. And we've really tried to do that this year. And this is a great year to do that with all of uh, the shipping issues and everything that kind of got goofed up there. Uh, and so we've done that uh, this year for all of the kids, giving them some kind of big experience. And for these three guys, that big experience is going to the Auburn football game. Uh, we were trying to figure out what to do for them. And then when Auburn got in, this bowl game, Birmingham, is only a couple of hours from Atlanta, which is where we've been through the holidays, and so it was a quick trip. Tickets were at a good price. It was something we could do as a day trip, uh, and so we jumped right on top of it. And you should have seen their faces uh, when they opened the present and realized what it was they were getting. And so we've all donned our uh, Auburn apparel. Uh, we got all of our colors on, and we are driving this morning over to Birmingham, uh, and we are going to enjoy this amazing game, one that hopefully we're going to win. We'll see.
Thinking of what do we come here and watch? Football, are you excited? Christopher, who do you think is going to win? Auburn, do you think? I think so. Scott, are you super excited? I am. What are you most excited about? Seeing the Auburn game. Seeing the Auburn game? Nice. Well, you come to the right place now. More Eagles. <laughs> More Eagles. So far in the first half, has the game gone like we wanted it to? Yeah, I no. Well, we're, we're still hopeful we're going to pull it out in the second half, right? Yeah. We got some popcorn and some water because that was all I had. We went for pretzels, no pretzels. We went for nachos, no nachos. We went for hot dogs, no hot dogs. What they have, popcorn. That's what we got, popcorn. So we're going to get back in the game. game go like we wanted it to? No. We had a better second half than first, but we couldn't hold on to it. But did we still have a really good time? Yeah. Yep. Is everybody glad we came? Yeah. Yeah. And even though we didn't win, we had a good time, but we got one more big surprise in store. We're not going to go home completely empty handed.
So what is the only thing that can make an Auburn loss feel better? Milo's. Milo's. So if you're from the South, you may know Milo's from their tea that you can get in the refrigerator section in the grocery store. And yes, it is the best sweet tea that you can buy in the grocery store, period, hands down. But what you may not know is that Milo's didn't start as a tea company. It's actually a restaurant. It's a hamburger restaurant that's pretty much just in Birmingham and kind of a few others around North Alabama. Um, but it started here in Birmingham. My wife grew up here in Birmingham and she grew up eating it all the time. And so as soon as we started dating, she introduced me to it. I got addicted. And so now anytime we are within 50 miles of Milo's, we go out of our way to go get there. So we knew when we left this morning, that we would be stopping by Milo's to get lunch. Uh, Milo's hamburgers uh, are, obviously they have their tea there, which is amazing. They have amazing seasoned fries, uh, but the biggest thing is the sauce that's on their hamburgers. It's called Milo yeah. sauce. And it's like, think about if uh, barbecue sauce and gravy had a spicy kid, uh, it would be Milo sauce. Um, and they put it all over their burgers with just some onions. Uh, it is the best thing you have ever had period, no questions asked. And so that's what we got. That's what we're enjoying. And that's what we're going to end this amazing day with. So, all right, kids, did everybody have fun? Yeah. Uh, what was the best part of the day? The football game. Football game. Joe, what was the best part of the day for you? Football. Football. Scott, what about you? Probably football. Probably football game. See, even if it doesn't turn out with a win, it's the experience. And these are memories and pictures that we will have forever. So until next time, I hope you find a way to go out and have some crazy memories with your crazy family. We hope you like, subscribe to our channel so you can check out all of our crazy fun. And until next time, see you guys.